Hi, my name is Viola Bazanye, and I am a UX designer who also happens to write code, so I know a bit of engineering. And today I'm going to talk to you about the role of UX design in AI. So first, what is AI? AI is basically machine learning. Um, this is where machines are able to learn from large volumes of data or text, and they're able to identify objects based on what they have learned. So for example, if you show a computer multiple images of an elephant, uh, it will be able to identify what an elephant is. And this is called classification. And machines that are able to do this, uh, learn from examples this way, are called neural networks. Another type of neural network is a language model. These learn from large volumes of data, and they're able to predict the next word in a sentence. And in order to improve a language model, you need to expose it to large volumes of data so that it can be able to improve uh, based on the examples that you expose it to. It's pretty similar to the way we learn as human beings when we want to become experts in a particular topic. We read a lot of material and study up on that topic to become experts. Another example of a language model is generative AI. This is what we see uh, in, that is very popular around. Uh, an example of this is ChatGPT, where you're able to write a prompt uh, or an instruction or some sort of action to uh, instruct the computer to do something. For example, you can ask it to write a poem in the style of some famous writer, and it will do that based on all the data that it has been exposed to already. Uh, another example that I am personally excited about is uh, Adobe Firefly, which basically allows us as designers to push the creative boundaries regardless of what level or skill level that you are at. So even if you're like a newbie, you can create some amazing uh, images or creations in uh, Photoshop or Illustrator using uh, Firefly. So I've mentioned some of the benefits of these tools, but also they have some challenges and limitations. Take, for example, Adobe Firefly. Uh, such a tool can be prone to hallucination. And hallucination is when the AI tool returns results that are incorrect, simply because it has been exposed to limited data or incorrect data. And so it returns responses that are not expected. Um, another challenge that they normally face is bias. Most of these tools have been trained on data that is written in American English. I'll give you an example. If you try to instruct the tool to return a response in a different language that is not popular on the internet, it won't be able to do this. It just won't work. And this marginalizes a lot of people and, and it just doesn't work. It's, it's not inclusive at all. Another thing that we cannot forget about is data privacy and intellectual property. Um, there's this show on Netflix, I don't know if you've heard of it, called Black Mirror. They have an episode called Join is Awful. And I feel like the, way, the story that they told in that episode is a very good example of the dangers of AI uh, when it comes to data privacy and intellectual property. I'll give an example based on that story. Uh, imagine you're a content creator who specializes in photography and you upload your images on an online platform for sale and I download that image or that work uh, from that platform, I pay for it of course, and I, since I'm using Firefly, Adobe Firefly, I will upload that image to Photoshop and use Firefly to edit it and create a new image based off of your work. 
and I could sell this new, these new Im images and earn like millions, but you won't earn anything from what I have profited. You won't get a single penny. The only thing that you benefit is like the two dollars that I used to download your image from the original platform. So these tools are quite complex and unpredictable. There's a lot that we don't know about uh, AI and how it will evolve. But I think there's a huge opportunity for us as UX designers to help shape the impact that this technology will have on our users. So what is the role of UX design in AI? I think that most people are afraid of the fact that AI, the possibility actually, that AI will take over their jobs and replace them. But I, I don't think that's a, a right way to think about it. I actually believe that the designer who is actually using AI in their work is the person who will replace you. So I feel like as US designers, we need to get on board and try to learn as much as we can about this technology and figure out how we can help accommodate the changes that it will have on the industry. I think the challenges are a good place to start from to as examples of how UX can play a part. For example, with hallucination, it's important to uh, be transparent on what these AI tools can do, what they can do and what they cannot do. And when it comes to, to bias, we need to expose uh, these models to a diverse set of users and incorporate feedback mechanisms so that they can help improve the AI so that it's not biased. And these are all opportunities for UX design. Another thing that I can mention is the prompt-based interfaces that we're seeing now with the, with like, for example, with ChatGPT. These interfaces are quite clunky and they require users to be able to know how to type the right prompt in order to achieve the right result. And that is quite cumbersome and it's asking a lot from users because I will write a prompt and expect a specific result. Another person will write the same prompt and expect a different result. And that's, so you see there's that issue of context and I feel like this is also another opportunity for UX design to help uh, figure this out. And we have a responsibility to help shape the next wave of intelligent applications and we shouldn't leave it to engineers to just monopolize the experience. How will the next wave of AI-driven applications impact the UX industry? I think that the examples that we have right now of generative tools is not reflective of the UI that we'll be using in the future. I, I, I think that it will change, it will continue to evolve as AI also continues to evolve and we continue to learn more about what it can and cannot do. So currently we're used to graphical user interfaces where you have like a link or a button and you can click on that and, instruct and tell the computer what to do. But now with AI, the role is reversed. We instead tell it the outcome that we expect and then the computer is the one that decides, that figures out on its own what it, how to achieve that outcome. I think that as UX designers, we need to learn as much as we can about this new technology uh, to be able to figure that out and help shape the, this next wave of intelligent applications. So in conclusion, uh, I think it's obvious that AI is a very interesting field, interesting topic. And I would encourage us as UX designers, anyone who considers themselves as a UX designer to learn as much as they can about AI and get uh, acquainted with AI tools and how they work and the, what they can do to be able to help uh, shape the next wave or the future UIs that we'll be using several years from now. One thing that I would like to recommend that I have used personally in my UX design career is a podcast called High Resolution. It has a lot of good advice for uh, UX designers early in their career and onwards. And you can access it on the podcast 
apps like Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Thank you for listening to me. I hope you learned something. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>